Actually, the first thing is there's going to be a, a press conference in the, the library place? of the U.S. Attorney's Office sometime later this afternoon after lunch. Um, and you should call up to find out when that's going to be. Your feelings what is your started? reaction now? Well, I think the judge put it best when he said that the jury did honor to the American jury system. Uh, they carefully deliberated over five days and they reached a verdict that is just and that sends the message from the community uh, to these people that they cannot be above the law and that they will be brought to justice and they will be convicted. What, what impact will the verdict have be on, on, on the market? Well, one impact is these, these defendants who have the accumulated experience uh, of running the mafia uh, are going to be incapacitated. They're going to presumably be sent to prison uh, for a long period of time. It's also going to be another case that gives the example to people who participate in the mafia that they are not going to be able to carry out their crimes with impunity. Even though these men are in jail, what's the possibility that their families continue with the mafia? I don't think any one case puts the mafia out of business, but I think case after case uh, damages the mafia. It makes it harder for them to run uh, their families and their criminal activities. And if the pressure gets kept up in other cases, uh, it's going to have a serious effect on their ability to do business. The way well, what does this do to, the, to this ruling the commission? Of the mob, to the <laughs> court. What does this do to uh, This commission is not going to be meeting on the street anymore. So. Will they be meeting in jail? Uh, I don't think so. What well, kind why of deal is this case different going to ask? Well, why does the going after the commission make this um, I don't. I, I don't think I'd say this case is different than other cases brought in the sense of uh, the quality of the case. I mean, there was the Colombo family case. There are other cases that have been brought uh, in the past and that are, are pending. All of these cases go after the men who run the mafia, and no longer can they control things behind the scenes and hope to get away with uh, what they're doing by shielding themselves and insulating themselves. Uh, uh, with underlings. But isn't this different historically because of the group concept of the ruling commission that you got at? It is the first case in which actually established that there was a nationwide mafia commission that runs the mafia uh, in many cities. In that sense, it is uh, unique. It is part of a number of cases that is an overall effort to which many, many uh, agents, detectives, prosecutors, other people contributed a lot of effort and a lot of time. Is this what the first the time that somebody has been years in jail? Uh, it's, as, to the best of my knowledge, it, well, it's certainly the case this is the first individual who has been convicted of participating in that murder. To the best of my knowledge, it's the first case in which someone has been convicted of an organized crime homicide, which up until this point, um, I think the general feeling was that these things were always so professionally done that people got away with them. Well, here's a man who didn't get away with it. What about sentences? What could they get? The exposure for all the defendants, except for Indelicato, is a little bit over 300 years. The maximum. The, uh, Mr. Delicato faces a maximum of 40 years. What are you going to be asking? That hasn't been decided. I'm sorry, I can only take one in this. We'll do our best to stop them in jail. Will another, will another committee commission just take their place and these men are in jail? Is it a company, a company once they're gone and it's really good? I think it's going to take a long time to replace the kind of, of a network that these men put together. I and mean, these men had personal relationships and experience going back over decades, which was a kind of, uh, they were kind of gray eminences of the mob. And they're just, uh, hopefully won't be people like that out on the street now. That can that can pull this mafia together. Each of these cases is another blow at the at the unity of this organization and a disorganized. What what does it do to the construction industry in New York City? Is that, in your opinion, now freed up from the grip of the? Mafia? Well, I think even the evidence at the trial showed that uh, it is it, some of the practices which had existed have now been broken. Uh, people are not being asked for money. I don't think it's the end of. of Crime in the construction yeah. industry, but it certainly has broken the back of the club. You expect them to appeal? That's up to them. Uh, we're going to have a press conference this afternoon, and I. Come in. Ready. This trial has been described as the government's most intensive effort to crush the mafia. Obviously, that is somewhat optimistic but the trial is likely to make a dent in its operations. Stephen Gere, ABC News at Federal Court in New York.
And uh, I think if it wasn't for this mafia hysteria, there would have been a, a different verdict. I think if the government had tried this case as a straight extortion without the mafia allegations, it would have been acquittals on the extortion counts. I never disagreed with the fact that my client didn't uh, uh, accept payoffs, but uh, I don't think you should go to jail for 350 years for doing something that everybody else in the city seems to be doing, as the contract has said. Uh, every big builder uh, makes payoffs, and they're not going to go to jail for 350 years. And the reason why that uh, uh, Scopo faces this kind of sentence is because of this mafia hysteria. Well, they've also found people, uh, one man guilty of a murder, uh, murder well, Carmen Galante. Well, that's that's just what every contractor in town does. Well, I mean, I can't comment on, on the Galante stuff because my client was never charged with it. Right. Uh, so the government throws that in there, and I think it prejudices a lot of other defendants. I mean, Scopo is the president of the, of the concrete workers' district council. I mean, there's no way there was no evidence he had anything to do with Galante. I mean, that, that, I'll leave that to another lawyer to comment on that evidence. But it's very unfortunate when the government charged those in murder counts with, 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 with a normal So now you say mafia hysteria is what convicted you. Mafia at all. Did the man accept payoffs? Did he extort or did he threaten people? That's the issue. These are contractors that are out there building buildings around the corner today. Nobody's threatened them. Nobody's blown up their buildings. It's not the mafia. It's Did mafia hysteria. Hey, you had your challenges. You got to appeal? Yeah. Are you going to be on your own, sir? Excuse me. Oh, what grounds? Clients say. Don't, don't.